Hi everybody, this is Lisa again, and this is another English class here on Verbling.com. Um, my name is Lisa, and I'm in Washington State in the United States of America, and it is Saturday evening at 8 p.m. my time, so I know there are people um, all around the world that are checking on uh, verbling.com to see what is going on and so this hour we are going to have a speaking class so if you are interested in coming to practice speaking in English then you can click on the join class button and come in to this Google Hangouts here with me and we can have a conversation um, I was going to have a conversation about traveling so I we were going to look at some different websites and talk about what it means to book a flight and how do we search on the internet for hotels or other types of accommodations where would you like to stay where would you like to go so if you want to come and join the class that is what we're going to be doing so it should be pretty fun it's always fun to talk about traveling and see where people like to go where they have been maybe you are planning a trip or you would like to go on a trip someday um, so we can talk about that um, if you are not yet a Verbling member you can do a special trial membership so that the link for that is right in the top up there um, above the video and it's a free seven day trial um, otherwise if you have been checking out Verbling and you know that you want to join Verbling then you can pay the forty-five dollars and that is per month and that allows you to come to all the classes you want and you can also make reservations in the class um, sometimes in some hours during the day the classes can fill up we can have nine people in the Google Hangout here with me so sometimes they fill up and so it's a nice idea to try to get a reservation for the class some other parts of the day can be um, less crowded so like right now it's eight o'clock my time but it's um, you know it's 6 a.m. in Turkey and it's I don't know what time it is in China Chow's gonna tell me here in a minute <laughs> in China it's uh, 12 p.m. Oh, 12 p.m. Okay. What are you in the middle of classes or what? Uh, I didn't get it. Lisa. Are you in the middle of classes? Do you have? Oh wait, never mind. It's Saturday. It's Sunday for you. No. Yeah, it is Sunday. So no, no, class no classes today. today. Okay, I forgot what day we were. <laughs> <laughs> and you took your jacket off. So did you get warm? Well, because uh, it is 12 p.m., so it should be warmer than uh, yes. what was that in the morning. Yes, right. So, um, is it going to snow where you live? I guess so. Maybe in this week. Oh, really? Snow. Is yeah. that normal? Is that does yeah, it, it is usually normal. snow? Yeah. Uh huh. snow. It, it will be snow every year. Okay. How much snow? How much? That's a tough question. <laughs> How to measure the snow? Uh, well, you can. Uh, I don't know. You can see the snow can like this. Okay. The ground and. Uh, uh huh. That's good. Yeah. Is there any um, skiing in China? Do people go uh, skiing? Yeah, there, there, there is some place in the north of China. And oh, really? I'm planning to go there maybe next year. Cool. There, yeah. Wow. I never, I didn't know. That's cool. I like to ski, so. <laughs> Are you good at it? Yeah, pretty good. Oh, that's cool. But my, my sons are way better. They're really good. They ju uh, go off jumps and everything, do tricks. Yeah. So cool. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, it's fun. Do you like to go fast? Yes. <laughs> All right. My daughter, she is going to be 11 soon, and she skis faster than I do. 
<laughs> she just like they don't have any fear. They just like yeah. go straight down the mountain, and I go across, so I don't go too fast. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's sometimes I have a phobia of height. Heights. So, uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it can be a little scary when you're going on the ski lift and it's, you know, you're getting farther and farther up and sometimes you're kind of far away from the ground and then other times you're closer to the ground. It just yeah. depends, yeah. So sometimes that looks kind of freaky, you know. Oh, I don't want to fall off the chair. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, well, in the last class, we only had, I only had one person from Vietnam. So I don't know who's going to show up, but we were going to talk about uh, traveling, but we can also talk about whatever you want to talk about since you're the only one here right now. Yeah, so, uh, do you have any no, questions? Actually, I, no, but I'll go travel next week to but not go abroad, but just go to Beijing for a few days. Oh yeah? What are you planning on doing there? I don't know, with my girlfriend, maybe go to some, uh, you know, the Forbidden City. I, I haven't, I have been there when I was a child, but mm -hmm. it, it has been a long time, so I want to say it again, and the Great Wall, maybe, mm -hmm. uh, what else, and the snacks. Yeah. There. Yeah, it, it will be a fun time, but before I go to the go go Traveler, I need to take the exam, so... Uh, just the day before the traveling. That would be a, I don't know oh. if, I, what? if I did well, that would be a, <laughs> I can travel with a good mood, but if I didn't, uh, I don't know. <laughs> You'll be mad if you didn't do well. Uh, I think you always do well, Chow. You seem like you're I'll, a very studious person. I hope I'll ace it, because it is an English exam. Uh, oh. is English. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, compared to other people in your class, how is your level of English? Are you better than more oh, people? Maybe, maybe I'm the top one in my class. No, <laughs> actually, <laughs> well, I, I, actually, I'm in the top. I should be more humble, but it is. Uh, no, class. you can tell the truth because I want to know because you have a very good um, level of English. So you have a high level of English already, and I wanted to know if everybody in your class has that same level. Yeah, actually they are not good at the speaking part, so... Because uh, they don't go on verbaling? Because <laughs> they cannot count, but I'm used to it. You're the only one who knows how to go on verbaling in China? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, maybe. Uh, actually, I told... <laughs> that is my secret. I told my <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay, well, we have some other people who have joined us. So, hi there. Is it Gilver? Yeah, Wilbur. Wilbur, how are you? It's Wilbur. Okay, I Wilbur. Am. And where are you from? I am from El Salvador. Oh, El Salvador. Wonderful. Welcome. Okay, and Nan is here. Hi, Nan. Uh, hello, teacher. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. All right, so we're going to talk about uh, traveling, and Chow already just told me that he actually is traveling pretty soon. He's going to be going to Beijing. So, Chow, tell me a little bit about your trip. How are you traveling to Beijing? Uh, well, first, firstly, I take the exam. Actually, yeah. I will go to the other city to take the exam. That city in the middle of my city to Beijing. So I oh, can stay okay. a, a few hours in that city and to well, just uh, spend some more time on that city. That city is beautiful also. And then mm -hmm. I'll go to Beijing uh, for a few days. I'll stay near to the uh, Forbidden City. Mm -hmm. And in the rest of days, maybe I'll go far to, to the, the, the Great Wall a great wall in the subway. Uh, uh, no, the sub. What was that? The. It's the southern part, or. Yeah. Yes. The. It's just now near to the central part of the city. Oh. Okay. 
So here's the official Beijing website for tourists. <laughs> well, does it looks good? Uh, yeah, it looks good. Is it? Um, it, you, it looks good for a foreigner. Uh huh. Are you going to be going there by train? Uh yes, train. Uh, uh yeah, train. Train. And there, are, there are several different trains that it should be the I don't know, cause. Uh, it is not the train exactly, but a high-speed train or high-speed train. Yeah, high-speed train. Yeah. Um, how long is it going to take you to get to the place where you have to go first? Uh, I will spend two hours to go to the city in the middle, and yeah. then spend uh, I don't know maybe three or four hours to go to Beijing. Oh, okay. It's kind of far. Mm. Yeah, a little. Comparing with other city, it is uh, a small. Uh, well, comparing a small distance. Yeah, it's not too, not too it's far awesome. for the size of China. <laughs> yeah, China yeah. is huge. It's huge. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, cool. And why are you going to the other city? What test are you taking? Uh, the test is a BEC test, a business English certificate. Uh, oh, okay. The, and the reason. Why I will go to Beijing is well, because my girlfriend she wants to go there. Uh huh. Uh, we are in long distance love. She is in other city, uh, so uh -huh. she uh, we haven't seen each other for two months. So oh. She, well, 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 come to the, the city here to mm -hmm. my university, <coughs> then we can have a a, a way got to spend my, our time in Beijing. So. Uh huh. Cool. All right. Awesome. It sounds fun. Uh, Wilbur. Hello. Hey, how are yeah. you? Um, so, uh, as far as traveling goes, have you done any traveling recently, or are you planning to do any traveling? Well, I I went to Mexico la last year, but really? uh, recently, yeah, yeah, but recently I don't think or now I'm I'm thinking other things. I'm planning my uh, studies and I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, my life yeah. here is uh, different, I think. What are you doing? Or what are you studying? I'm uh, studying computer science. Uh -huh. uh, science. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I am working too. Oh, what are you working? What are you doing for work? Uh, now I'm uh, programming. Uh, oh. Programmer. I am programmer, yeah. Yeah, you can say I'm. You can say I'm working as a programmer, or you can just say I I am a programmer. Yep. I'm a programmer, right? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. And what part of El Salvador do you live in? In San Salvador. That so is the. Uh, right there. That picture that. It, uh, yeah, yeah. That uh, one. That is the center of the town. Uh huh. Of the capital, I think. Yeah. That's uh, where you live. That, yeah, yeah. That is the main short, short, right? The main, yeah. the main like uh, plaza or the main. Yeah, shop? yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Plaza, but that, that uh, white uh, big house oh. is the short. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the church. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's the church. Yeah. Church. <coughs> yeah, church. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's the church. And it's a Catholic church probably, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Is that it or that's not the main one? That's the main yeah, one. Yeah, that, okay. that is the same. Oh, it's a different view? Yeah. That's that's the front of it? Uh, no, no. No, it's not the same. Oh, okay. <laughs> not the same. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. And why did you go to Mexico? Uh, because I was uh, in a, I don't know how to say, it, but it's like a community science or tech, tech community. And yeah. there was an um, event that is called a Campus Party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I went to, to that. So it was like a, a conference? Yeah. Okay. That uh, it's it take like one week. Uh huh. So and it's quite nice. Yeah. 
Did you fly there? Uh, no, I went to in a bus. Oh, wow. How long did it take you? Uh, like two uh, days. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, yeah, one day to go to uh, Frontera. How do you say Frontera? To the border. Uh, to the border of Mexico. Um, one uh -huh. day to go to the DF. Okay, to the Mexico City. Yeah, yeah. it's pr it's pretty far. Yeah. Well, did you have did you stop a lot to pick up people and stuff? I, I don't get it. What do you say? Yeah, when you were on the bus, did you have to stop at many times? Yeah, yeah. Uh, one time, uh, Guatemala. Uh -huh. And one time at uh, Tapachula, Mexico. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Was just it fun? Like two times. Oh, just what? two. That was it. Fun? Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. yeah it's good. so. There, there, there are so many people new. Um, I knew so so many things. Yeah. Did you like uh, the food? Yeah, uh, uh, main uh, tacos. Tacos, yeah, <laughs> tacos, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we like tacos here too in the United States. We eat a lot okay. of tacos. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Yeah. So, is the is the food in Mexico similar to the food in El Salvador? Mm, not really. No. Here, I I don't know if you know pupusas. Yes. Yes. Okay. Here, here is the main. Uh, how do you say principal plato? Yeah, yeah. It's that's the yeah. Pupusa. It's the main main dish of El Salvador, or uh, the main. Okay. Type okay. Of yeah. 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 It's the main uh, typical dish on El Salvador. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I've had it before. It's yummy. It's yeah. it's kind of like a tortilla, but thicker. Uh yeah. Yeah, With uh, something like cheese and uh, mm -hmm. I don't know how to say. It. Yeah, cheese Chicharron. or meat, chicharrones. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like pork and different types of meat and stuff. Yeah. yeah. See. Yep. Yeah. That looks yummy. <laughs> I haven't had dinner yet, so I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a um, El Salvadorian uh, restaurant um, in a town near. It's about two hours from my town, and I have been to that restaurant, and that's where I've had uh, that kind of food. Yeah. Ah, it's yummy. Okay. Yeah, it's good. And the cheese is really good, okay. too. I like the cheese. Yeah. The pupusas with the cheese, the queso, yeah. That's yummy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me talk to Nan a little bit. Hi, Nan. Oh. Hello, teacher. Okay, Don. What about you in traveling? Have you traveled anywhere lately, or are you planning to travel anywhere? Uh, re recently, I'm not uh, tra traveling much, mm -hmm. but a, a few years back, I'm, I'm traveling to. Uh, I'm used to traveling to Singapore and uh, United States. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> you went to Singapore for? Did you just go for a vacation, or? Uh, it's actually a youth convention. A music uh, convention? A, a, a youth convention. Oh, youth. Oh, a youth. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Cool. Uh, so it's gathered on the Christian in the Asia Pacific. And uh -huh. so it's uh, held in uh, Expo in Singapore. Oh, wow. And how yeah. did you like Singapore? It's a pretty big city. Yeah, it's it's a very nice and beautiful and clean city. Is, yeah. yeah, I heard it. I heard it was really clean. Yes. Yeah, you found it uh, to be clean. Yeah, uh, it it have a, a a lot of uh, trees and we 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 can see the uh, green sceneries uh, everywhere. Yeah. Wow, cool. Yeah. Yeah, it has a lot of interesting uh, buildings. That one's wild. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it, you it, stay there? Uh, I'm staying there for uh, uh, two weeks. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a long time. Mm. And did it have um, your conference? Did it have people from everywhere, or just from Asia coming, or where were the um, people from? Uh, most of them is come from Asia. Yeah. Okay. 
uh, but there are some some people also come from the U.S. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm. Okay. And you also went to the U.S. Yeah. Uh, because my uh, brother is uh, studying abroad. He's studying in the U.S. So uh, uh, about four four years ago, I um, come to visit my brothers in the United States. Where does he live? Uh, he he lives in, in California, in uh, Anaheim City. Oh, where where is he studying? Uh, you you mean uh, what uh, universities? Yes. Uh, he's studying in um, uh, computer science uh, universities, uh, but but he has o already uh, graduated. Yeah. He graduated already. Yeah. Yeah. How how long did he go to um, the U.S.? Was he there for many years or just one year? Uh, he he has been in the U.S. for uh, ten ten years, more than ten years. Oh oh, he still yeah. lives there. Yes, he still lives there. Oh okay. <laughs> so he is planning <laughs> to uh, to get married in in the U.S. also. <laughs> oh, okay, he's getting married yeah. now. So you you went to Anaheim. That's did you go to Disneyland? Uh yes yes I did. <laughs> How did you like it? Uh, it's, it 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 is the biggest playground I have ever been to, and so <laughs> it's, it, it's very very it it is very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Did you go to uh, California Adventure? Mm, no. Uh, no. The the only program I've been is uh, Disneyland uh, University Studio. Universal Studio, uh, uh huh. Uh, and this one more place uh, I didn't remember the name. Yeah. Uh, Magic Mountain. No. No. Not, not oh that one. oh, Knott's Berry Farm. Uh no <laughs> no, no? <either. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one probably. <laughs> That's the other one that is right there. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. When you went to Disneyland, was it really crowded? Uh, yes, and the one thing that I amazed about uh, uh, the the American people is they always uh, get get in line. <laughs> in uh, uh, in in Vietnam, if there are some place uh, that crowded and uh, and people interesting about it, yeah. they uh, yeah. always uh, uh, they they are not get in line. <laughs> they yeah. they don't get in line. They just hang around or what? Uh, they are just pushing each other in, oh, okay. in, in, in order to get there faster. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to get in line here. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. It can be um, Disneyland can be really fun if you pick a time that's not very crowded, because um, I have been there when it is so crowded. I hardly go on any rides, but then I've also yeah. been there like. Um, like in January or February, and we went on Space Mountain, like just one after another. You could just ride on Space Mountain and then get off and come back and ride again and again and mm -hmm. again without having to stand in line or anything. So yeah. that was that was really fun. Oh, um, Chow, I just remembered. Um, I thought I read something that in Beijing that Jackie Chan is making a theme park. Have you heard about that? No, uh, is that possible? <laughs> I, I never heard about that. Because <laughs> it made me think of that in Disneyland. Um, there are. What, what kind of theme park? Do you do know that? I don't know. I'm gonna look it up. Um, there, there's one Disneyland and there's one Disney World in the United States. So Disneyland is oh. in Anaheim City, which is in L.A., Los Angeles. But Disney World is in Orlando? Florida, yeah. So they're a little bit different. Disney Disneyland is big, but it's not as big as Disney World. And um, now, though, Disneyland has California Adventure across the street, which has some a really cool um, uh, roller coaster. It's a very fast and fun. Roller coaster. It's that one right there. Um, can't trying to find a bigger picture. It's pretty fun. It you start off and it goes super fast when you start off, so it's kind of scary. 
but um, fun. And they play really like loud rockin' kind of music when they're when you're going. <laughs> so you get all like excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of funny. Um, yeah, let me look up that Jackie Chan thing because I don't know uh, when it's supposed to be built. Um, but it's going to be somewhere in Beijing. But I imagine Beijing is a very um, large, huge city. Do you know where you're staying already in Beijing? Uh, yes, uh, just in the central part, uh, near to the Forbidden City. And, yeah. Are you um, are you going to um, be staying in a hotel or what? How uh, are no, you? In the hotel, I, I I reserve some hotels in advance. So. Okay. Well, this is what it says about him. He says he's going to build the the theme park. To show off all his stuff. <laughs> uh, himself, uh, them are. I yeah. What is it? What did you say? Uh, I just I just said uh, he will build a himself. Uh, yeah. Park exactly. <laughs> a Jackie Chan theme park. Yeah. How can he collect so many things together to build it? I theme I don't park? know. Himself. I don't know. I don't know. Things, things that he likes and whatever. Well, I guess uh, Disneyland is going to be building in Shanghai. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, okay. Huh. I've never been to another Disneyland. I know there's one like in Paris or something, but I've never gone to another one. Just the one in Los Angeles, and I've been to Disney World one time. But, okay. So, so yeah? Disney World is bigger than Disneyland? Yes, Disney World. Well, the difference about Disney World is that it has what's called Epcot Center. So um, it's really big. So the, it has all like the rides and the different Magic Kingdom and stuff. But it also has this big ball that's called Epcot Center. And um, so it has lots of things from around the world. It's like going, when, when you go to that certain part of it, it's like you're in different countries. So they have like restaurants from different countries and they're talking in different yeah. languages. And so that's um, part of the Disney World aspect of it. But um, And then also right around Disney World, there are other parks like a water slide park and there's lots of hotels. And so a lot of things kind of um, connected or right next to it. So yeah. it makes it seem really really big. Yeah, so, so the place in Anaheim is just uh, Disneyland, right? Just Disneyland. Yes. Just <laughs> Disneyland. Well, but, Disneyland but, uh, and then California Adventure now too. Yeah. Right next yeah. door. Uh, yeah. But I remember um, when when I go to Disneyland there, I go uh, from 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 the morning from say 7 a.m. Yeah. Uh, and 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 I go to to tonight and I cannot go on through all the ride in there. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so I cannot imagine uh, how how big is uh, the Disney World will be. <laughs> well, yeah. I know that usually when people go to Disney World, they make a a big vacation out of it. So they go maybe three, four, five days, you know, and they do a lot of different things. They go on the rides, but then they also <clears throat> do the water park, you know, and they do yeah. just all the different stuff. Because you know the the thing about Disney. Land and Disney World is there's a lot of um, shows happening too. So the parades are happening. You know, people are singing. Like this is a picture of the parade. Did you see the parade when you were there? Mm. No. Uh, uh, actually, no. I haven't seen. Yeah, it. and see, that's yeah. one one thing. Like you, if you want to go on rides more, then sometimes you miss the parade. So. Mm. But the parade can be really fun. Like I've seen the the Disneyland Christmas parade is fun. They have you know, so it's kind of a show. They parade around the the main street and they have these uh, floats. They call them floats. These things that are being pushed around or driven around. And there's bands usually playing music and people singing. So it's really kind of about a half an hour long show. Mm. But if you want to yeah. go on the rides, you kind of miss it. So, <laughs> <laughs> but that's fun, and they have more of those too at um, at Disney World.
because they have all the characters, you know, the Cinderella and the princesses and the princes and, of course, uh, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and, and all that. So, mm. yeah. 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 So, okay. So um, does your brother come back to Vietnam very often for a visit or does he just stay uh, in the United States? Actually, um, since he uh, go into the United States, he just uh, go back to to Vietnam for 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 one time. Really? Uh, yep. Yeah, because he's afraid that um, because he's going abroad to study, so yeah. his visa is just valid for four or five years. Oh, so okay. he's afraid that when 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 he come back, he cannot go back to the United States. Oh, <laughs> so okay. so I want to stay there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to show you guys a, a website. I'm trying to just get into it. Um, have you guys heard about this? Couch surfing? No? Okay. So How about what? How about it's, what? A, it's called couchsurfing.org. Uh, uh. And what it's for is a place to stay for free. So, oh. and it's also a good way to meet people. So, for example, if you go to couchsurfing.org, you can plan a trip. So, they want to know where do you want to go. So, let's say we want to go to uh, New York, for example. And then you figure out when you want to go. So, let's make it a little bit later so maybe something is more available. So, maybe I want to go in February. And I want to stay there for four days, let's say. So then they want to know, why are you going to New York? Uh, you could just say, I'm going to New York to visit museums and have fun. Okay. How many people are traveling? So if it's just me, you put in uh, just me or one or two. Okay. They want me to put in more. I am also going to check out some amazing restaurants and oops restaurants and see some shows okay so they want to know why you're going and then you uh, I'm not going to be able to do this whole thing cuz I'm not going to do all this. <laughs> so you would describe yourself and then you would find a host. So the thing about uh the couch surfing, which is cool, is that um, it's free. So a lot of people around the world have put up their um, their uh, their like a, their house, I guess, and they can they allow people to come and stay at their house, and it's free. I don't think they're letting me yeah. check it out. Oh. Can you see it? Actually, we have the similar things in China. Yeah. Uh, it is not that systematic, like a website or something. People are uh, collecting a uh, community or something. Just yeah. To put information on that, and uh, the other people will receive the person and yeah, give free uh, accommodation or something. Like yeah, that. exactly. Yeah, it's so it's kind of a more like you are your your um, joining community. So they want you to, you know, be able to be honest. You have to be honest. You have to tell them, you know, who you are. They want you to put a picture up. And that's why I can't show you everything just because I, they want me to put in stuff that I'm not going to put in right now. But um, we have some, we know, people who have done it. I've actually never done it yet this way. But it's really good for especially um, single people or young people. Because what's cool about it, obviously, is that it's free. And you might have to sleep on a couch, but oftentimes you could also sleep on a bed. Or everybody has like kind of a different thing that they are letting you do. So I wanted to just show that to you because they have people from all around the world do it. So it's in countries. I'm sure it's in El Salvador, probably Vietnam. Um, I don't know if it's in China if you have your own, if you have your own already. But... Um, I have some friends who had some people. He had they had a guy staying with them who was um, from Australia, and he was doing couch surfing all around the United States because he was 
he was working his way to New York, which is where his brother lives. But in the meantime, he was going to different places in California and Oregon and Washington. And so um, he was going to different places. And this is free. The other one that's um, very popular right now in the United States is called Airbnb. So these are kind of like alternatives to the regular hotels. So another one is called Airbnb. So for example, if I want to go to uh, Paris, let's just say I'm going to Paris, and I want to go in um, February again, and I want to stay for a week. And then what it does is it, it searches people who have Airbnbs. And so what they're doing is they're either renting out a room or something, or maybe sometimes even the whole apartment or the whole house. And then you can just look and see what you want. So this one is like very expensive. For example, <laughs> $306 per night. So that's a very expensive, very nice um, good location probably um, right next to the river there yes that's a very nice one looks like it might be the whole place and then you get to read what it is so it's a real bed it's the entire um, home or apartment you can have two people go there it's one bedroom and then you can read about the person this is the, the lady who owns it and she has written a little bit about her house and what you get when you go there, like if there's a Wi-Fi, internet connection, or a cable TV, she has some rules, that kind of thing. But what's cool about it is you get to check it out, you get to talk to them, and you can you can kind of see if that's too expensive. Maybe you want to try, you know, something else. Um, and so you could you just get to choose what you want and whether or not you like the person, whether or not you think uh, that location is going to be good for you. Ooh, that looks cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Have you guys ever heard of this? Airbnb.com? No. No? no? Yeah, I think it's pretty fun. I'm going to look here and see. Um, I don't know if it's in China yet, so I'm going to see if it's in China. Okay, here we go. In China. Oh, it is not very expensive. It's not very expensive. Here's well, some are expensive. That's not expensive, right there. In Shanghai, sixteen dollars. Maybe that's it's just one room. I don't know. Yeah, but that's cheap. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to three hundred dollars a night, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So yeah, it's so just, even you can use it in China. Yeah, it's just like. A, just a host just to rent their house. Yes, <clears throat> exactly. So these are different places in uh, Shanghai. So I guess, what's the status of Shanghai? It's is it part of China now? I can't remember. <laughs> status of uh, the political like, status. Ah uh, yes, it, it, it belongs to China. Okay, but probably is a little bit more open than other parts. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, ex um, especially when the Chinese government just announced a new policy on Shanghai, the free trade zone. So oh, okay. Uh, it will be more open in the yeah. next few years. Okay. Yes. So here, yeah, you can go to Shanghai and stay in an Airbnb. So let me see about uh, Vietnam. Um, Nan, where did you where did you live in Hanoi? Uh, no, in Ho Chi Minh City. Oh yeah, Ho Chi Minh City. Okay, let me see if there, you can find a place in Ho Chi Minh City. All right. So if you want to go to Ho Chi Minh City and you want to go to Airbnb, you can find some places here. So I think it's pretty popular for Americans. I'm not sure how popular it is for other people, but Europeans, I think, are starting to use it. But here's a nice place. $55. That's a good rate. Ooh, it looks like it's kind of high up in the building. So anyways, this is an interesting uh, website. I wanted to share it with you because it's even if you're not traveling, sometimes it's just kind of fun to like 
put in a city and see what their houses look like because these are really uh, people's houses where they live. So they might be offering their room, um, you know, for rent for a night or two nights or a week or something, but oftentimes they're still living in, in that house. So they're there also with you. Um, I, so let me yeah, see. I, yeah? I just checked out the website and I see that there were many of them in China because there was a, a oh. Chinese a, a translated edition. So oh, when okay. I typed Beijing in Chinese, there were many shoes out. Yeah, it was a good choice. Thanks for this uh, recommendation of the website. I, it is very useful. I may, yeah, I, I may try it next time. Kind of fun looking at places. Here's some places in uh, San Salvador. Also, oh. so we got a post a uh, uh, recommendation in into this website. I, I, is it free, or will we have to pay? Uh, it is. Free? It's free. It's uh -oh. free to it's free to look, and it's free to put your your place on there if you want to put your house on there, and yeah. or a room or something, and it just it's it's really like booking um, a hotel because. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're you're looking at the pictures. You're going to see what the price is. You're going to know what the rules are, and um, and then you can have an email conversation with the people. And then there's also what's cool about it is um, so that um, the guests who have who have stayed there can leave um, feedback. So then you can read the feedback that people have left for this person if anybody has stayed there this guy doesn't have any reviews but if you go to let's say we go to San Francisco uh, let's just see what we find in San Francisco for one person so here's a, a um, place here let's see how what they have let me see so they have a lot of reviews so they have a hundred seven different reviews so at least that many people have stayed there, maybe more, and people can le say what they liked or what they didn't like. They can say whether or not the host was friendly and helpful, um, mm. what if the location was good, you know, that kind of thing. Mm. So, so it's kind of I, I feel like it's um, pretty safe. When I went to I traveled to Hawaii and, and I've been to Vancouver, Canada, and I've stayed in. Uh, Airbnb places, and I have Airbnb mm. on, my, and I use Airbnb for my house too. Mm. I let people so, come. Uh, so, so you pay the, the money directly to them, or you pay the money through this website? You yes, a good question. Uh, you mm. pay uh, everything is by credit card, and you pay the website, oh. and then the website pays the person, and the website Airbnb takes a little bit. Of money, every for every reservation, you know. Oh, okay. So that's how the website makes money, and then the people uh, make money. Kind of, you know, that's it's it's called Airbnb, I think, because it's like a BNB, which stands for bread. Uh, I mean, sorry, <laughs> bed and breakfast. So that's a common uh, uh, type of accommodation. But now it's like on the internet, so it's like in the air or in the cloud or something like that. It's like, you know, it's it's everybody can just come and and um, put their place up, and you can also search. So it, whenever you're looking for a place, you know, a lot of times uh, when you're before all you had was the option for hotels. So in the United States, you know, you can go to something like um, hotels.com. And then that will show you listings for all the um, different hotels in the area. You know, same kind of thing. You put in where you want to go, how long you're going to be there, that type of thing. And um, so this is the same kind of thing. But it looks for the hotel. So if you search it, if I say I'm going to San Francisco, California, <clears throat> I still have to put in my, when am I checking in? When am I checking out? And um, you know, how many nights? Okay, how many rooms do I want? I'll just put two adults, and then it's going to do its search, and it's going to return these, uh, you know, possibilities for me. But these are all 
hotels. So, you know, a hotel room can cost $149 a night or maybe just $62. It depends on how much you want to spend, how nice you want to uh, be. <laughs> so some of them are fancier than others. And for some people, you know, they don't want to have to deal with other people. They just want to have their own private room. They want, maybe want to have room service, you know. So a hotel is a better option for them. But if you're the type of person who likes to meet people or you like to, um, you know, live more like in a home or stay, I should say, stay in a home, home type um, atmosphere, maybe. What's nice about it, too, is the people who... <clears throat> who do the Airbnb, a lot of times they really know a lot of good things about the city, like, you know, where's a good place to eat or um, fun things to do, that kind of stuff. So sometimes they can be very helpful. But, yeah. yeah. So um, do you guys know about tr booking flights? Do you guys have... Oh, ever I know about it. Uh, I have book booked a flight by the Skyscanner website. Oh, have you gone to that one? Yeah, Hamid was um, saying yeah. that one. Is that popular in uh, Vietnam? Uh, no, um, when I travel to Singapore, there is um, uh, a friend of mine in Singapore. They tell me to if if you want to get a cheap uh, flight, uh, yeah. you search uh, search search it uh, on Skyscanner. Yeah, so I search on it. So it it gives me a lot of op options about time and. Uh, uh, the from company, yeah. Uh huh. Mm. Cool. Yeah, I've actually never um, used this one before. So did you end up? You ended up buying. Okay. Oh, where am I departing? Oops. <laughs> All right. Let's just say I'm gonna depart from do 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 San Francisco because that's, or I'll be departing from. Yes, because that's probably where I would have to go. So one thousand one hundred forty-five dollars. Whoa, <laughs> that's expensive. Yeah, it it is depend on the price. The, sure. On the company. Yeah. 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 Definitely, and how many uh, stops you have, and mm. all that. So when you flew to the United States, what? How did you fly? Where did you go? Did you leave out of Ho, Ho Chi Minh City? Yes, uh, we live in Ho Chi Minh City, and then we uh, uh, stop at the uh, Taiwan, and then we fly to uh, uh, in the United States. To LA. Yeah. Uh, not not LA, no? but I don't remember the, the uh, <laughs> airport in there. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's, here's it's an, an airport in uh, Anaheim, I think so. And, and, oh, uh, you went I'm all the way sure. to Anaheim. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, that looks like a good one. I think I have this on my iPhone. That looks familiar. <laughs> I never used it, though. Um, <laughs> same. This is the same idea, the Travelocity, or another one is um, Expedia.com. These are American companies, I guess, that um, do the same kind of thing, but they also do it for um, hotels and cars and all kinds of other things but you can just do it if you just want your flight you just push mm -hmm. it you know put in all your information yeah so um chow have you ever flown on a plane well not go abroad but inside china and we uh -huh. have several websites give you some cheap flights and sometimes it can be really cheap really cheap yeah yeah how far did you fly well, uh, it's about seven, seven hundred kilometers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, it, it costs several hundreds RMB, so it is really cheap. It's just one hundred dollars, maybe. Uh huh. Nice. And Wilbur, ha have you ever flown before? Flown? Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sorry. me? Yeah, it's for yeah. you, Wilbur. Okay. Uh, yeah, I flew to Nicaragua in um, 2009. Uh, uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah, to uh, event of my family, family event. Uh huh. Yeah, just that time. Was it? Did you go for a vacation or? 
no, it was uh, some some part of my uh, someone of my family uh, got married. Oh, got married. okay. Got married. Yeah. yeah, they got married. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. that's time. So, um, how that's pretty close, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, From, yeah. So yeah. Central America is uh, closest uh, countries. Yeah, really close. And to are small. <laughs> <laughs> Small countries close together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've been to um, Costa Rica a couple of times, but I've never been to um, Nicaragua or El Salvador or Honduras. Um, but yeah, I have a friend. He was originally originally from uh, El Salvador, but he lives in California now. But um, yeah, the, the, and USA are a lot of people of El Salvador. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot, yeah. Yeah, El Salvador is pretty small as a country, huh? You yeah. guys are like right there. I think that in five or six uh, hours you can go to, uh, to one side of the one time at, at the other side. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Driving? Really? Yeah. Yeah, driving. Yeah. In, in a bath, I think that. Yeah. Uh, like ten hours. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, just that. Wow. It's too it's, small. <laughs> so it's pretty small. Do you um, do you ever go to the beach? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in El Salvador, uh, it's uh, the best beaches are uh -huh. for surfing. Oh. Uh -huh. Really, of uh, international event for surfing are in El Salvador. Oh, I was wondering. Yeah, a lot. I think a lot of America, like a lot of people who like to surf, go to El Salvador. Yeah. Are there the, a lot the of Americans? Are nice. there? Sorry. Yeah. Are there a lot of American surfers down there? Yeah, <laughs> really. Um, Punta Roca, I think that is the the place. Yeah. Uh, there are so many Americans. Yeah. Uh, when when I went to uh, Costa Rica, mm -hmm. there were quite a few like older American guys who had married uh, Costa Rican, young Costa Rican women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they went down to Costa Rica to retire, you know. To what is the meaning of retire? But, uh, retire, yeah. Do you know what that means? When you are when you are done working, you retire. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, so... Uh, is is that happen too in um, El Salvador? Do Americans come and retire there? Mm, no, not really. Really, no. I don't. I don't know some some people. So. Yeah. I'm just looking at Google Earth. You can see this the stuff pretty good. Yeah, uh, in that uh, studio, uh, I uh -huh. live near like five uh, square for there. Five blocks. Yeah, uh, for a uh, studio. Magico Gonzalez. Okay, let me see. Where, whoops. Well, <laughs> it's hard <sighs> to control. Where, where, in which direction? Uh, like to the right or to the left or up or down? Up or down. Okay, am I going up this way, north? Or I don't no, know. No, no, no. It's the other way. Yeah, the left side. The left? Yep. Yeah. Like like that that you have the pointer. Right here? There. Not. In here. the first place. No. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there. Right here. <laughs> yeah. You live next to the La, La Clinica de Psicología? <laughs> That's no, right no. there. No? Uh, uh, just for the study Max Max Gonzalez. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, cool. Calle Progreso, El Progreso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's uh, true. Yeah. It's cool. ugly. What did you say? Nothing. Oh, you said exactly. Okay. How uh, long? Yeah. Did, how long does it take to get to the ocean, to the beach, driving? Mm, really, like uh, one and a half hour. Okay. Yeah. It's near. Ah. Uh, Depend what which uh, beach uh, because it uh, time are twenty minutes. Oh, okay. 
So it depends on which one you want to go to. Yeah. Uh, what What about this lake? Is that a place where you can go swimming? Mm. Lago. Yeah, lago. Uh, there are. Yeah, exactly. That that is like twenty minutes too. All mm. place that you can uh, get funny is is near. Mhm. Mm like like twenty minutes of uh, San Salvador. Yeah. Cool. And so, how is it now politically in San Salvador? Is it all uh, safe? I don't get it. <laughs> I said politically. How is it in San Salvador now? Because didn't you have? Um, wasn't it kind of like the the history about I don't know how many years ago, but um, like not a, was it a revolution or it was kind of the guerrillas or something? Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> is that all better now? Really, uh, the the violence is a little uh, how do you say hard? Yeah, because, hard. Because uh, uh, here are maras, so don't sometimes uh, some kill people or some something people. like that. Okay. Yeah, is does it have to do with politics or like drug traffickers or what? Who, who gets killed sometimes? Uh, uh, no, no, it's it's uh, maras. What I don't that? know if you. Uh, it's no, like a, it's like a group of people that nothing has nothing to do. <laughs> Just, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Just, who, uh, Stole uh, money and kill people or something like that oh. when they, they don't get things that they they like. Oh, and what did you call them? Uh, maras. Maras, in Spanish. Yeah, it's, yeah it's Spanish. I don't know if I uh, have a name of um, English. Hmm. Like that, like that. M a t a s. Uh, is a m a r. R A A S. Martas. Uh, without keep uh, T. Without. T. Oh, Mar Maras. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I never heard that one before. <coughs> yeah. I don't know. I have to look it up. Yeah. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And how did you like Nicaragua? I heard that it's nice there too. Really, all all. Uh, uh, I don't know how to say. Uh, all country of Central America are nice. <laughs> Guatemala, yeah, 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 yeah. Have the nice place. Uh, Guatemala, uh, Nicaragua, Panama, uh, yeah. other place. In El Salvador, well, you have... you, yeah, okay. in El Salvador, okay. uh, just uh, the people that have bad things or I don't know how to say going bad scenes. Have problem, okay. but I have yeah. been living in San Salvador like five years because I don't, I am, I am not from San Salvador really, mm -hmm. but I don't have any problem. Okay, yeah, sure. That's the same anywhere. Uh, even like in New York City, for example, lots of crime happens in New York City, but only in those areas where those people are living, and you know. So if I go to New York City. I'm not afraid to go there, you know. Yeah. yeah. The same. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Well, that's <clears throat> it's always fun to talk about traveling. So, I'm looking forward to going to all of your countries someday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I like to uh, hear more about them so I know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for coming to class, you guys. I'll see you another time. Okay? okay. Take, Take care. care. Bye, Bye ciao. Okay. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Thank you. See ya. Oh uh, well, first, firstly, I take the exam. Uh, actually, yeah. I will go to the other city to take the exam. That city in the middle of my city to Beijing. So I can oh, stay okay. a, a few hours in that city and to well just uh, spend some more time on that city. That city is beautiful also, and then mm -hmm. I'll go to Beijing. Uh, for a few days, I'll uh, stay near to the uh, Forbidden City, mm -hmm. and in the rest of days, maybe I'll go far 
to to the the, the Great Wall, a uh, Great Wall, the subway, uh, uh, the the stop. What was that? The the southern part, or yeah, yes, the is that now that near to the central part of the city. Oh, okay. So here's the official Beijing website for tourists. <laughs> well, that doesn't it looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Is it? Um, it, you, it looks good for a foreigner. Uh huh. Are you going to be going there by train? Uh yes, train. Uh, uh yeah, train. Train. And there are several different trains that it should be the I don't know, cause. Uh, it is not the train exactly, but a high-speed train or high-speed train. Yeah, high-speed train. Yeah. yeah. Um, how long is it going to take you to get to the place where you have to go first? Uh, I will spend two hours to go to the city in the middle, and yeah. then spend uh, I don't know, maybe three or four hours to go to Beijing. Oh, okay. It's kind of far. Mm, yeah, a little. Comparing with other city, it is uh, a small. Uh, well, comparing with small distance. Yeah, it's not too, not too it's far not for the size of China. <laughs> yeah, China yeah. is huge. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, cool. And why are you going to the other city? What test are you taking? Uh, the test is uh, BEC test, a business English certificate. What? If I did well, that would be. <laughs> I can travel with a good mood, but if I didn't, uh, I don't know. <laughs> You'll be mad if you didn't do well. Uh, I think you always do well, Chow. You seem like you're I'll, a very studious person. I hope I'll ace it because it is an English exam, uh, oh. business English. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, compared to other people in your class, how is your level of English? Are you better than? Oh, maybe maybe I'm the top one in my class. No, <laughs> actually, no, I, I, actually I'm in the top. Uh, I should be more humble, but it is. I, no, class. you can tell the truth because I want to know because you have a very good um, level of English, so you have a high level of English already, and I wanted to know if everybody in your class has that same level. Yeah, actually the. Uh, not good at the speaking part, uh, so. Because uh, they don't go on verbling. Because <laughs> <laughs> they cannot count, but I'm used to it. You're the only one who knows how to go on verbling in China. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, actually, I told. <laughs> that is my secret. I told my. Yeah. To, to, to try verbling. <laughs> Good. Okay, well, we have some other people who have joined us. So, hi there. Is it Gilver? Yeah, Wilbur. Wilbur, how are you? It's Wilbur. Okay, I Wilbur. Am. And where are you from? I am from El Salvador. Oh, El Salvador. Wonderful. Welcome. Okay, and yeah. Nan is here. Hi, Nan. Uh, hello, teacher. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing fine. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so we're going to talk about uh, traveling, and Chow already just told me that he actually is traveling pretty soon. He's going to be going to Beijing. So, Chow, tell me a little bit about your trip. How are you traveling to Beijing? Yeah, pretty good. Oh, that's cool. But my, my sons are way better. They're really good. They just... Uh go off jumps and everything, do tricks. Yeah. So I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, it's fun. Do you like to go fast? Yes. <laughs> All right. My daughter, she is going to be 11 soon and she skis faster than I do. <laughs> she just like they don't have any fear. They just like yeah. go straight down the mountain, and I go across, so I don't go too fast. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes I have a phobia of height. Heights, so, uh huh. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It can be a little scary when you're going on the ski lift, and it's you know you're getting farther and farther up, and sometimes you're kind of far away from the ground, and then other times you're closer to the ground. It just yeah. depends. Yeah. So sometimes that looks kind of freaky, 
you know, oh, I don't want to fall off the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. All right. Well, in the last class, we only had I only had one person from Vietnam, so I don't know who's going to show up. But we were going to talk about uh, traveling, but we can also talk about whatever you want to talk about since you're the only one here right now. Yeah, so, uh, do you have any no, questions? No, uh, I'll go travel next week to but not go abroad, but just go to Beijing for a few days. Oh yeah, what and, are you planning on doing there? I don't know. With my girlfriend, maybe go to some, uh, you know, the Forbidden City. I, I haven't. I have been there when I was a child, but mm -hmm. it, it has been a long time. So I want to see it again as a Great Wall, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? And the snacks. Yeah. There. Yeah, it, it will be fun time. But before I go to the go to travel, I need to take the exam. So uh, just the day before the traveling, that will be. A, I don't know. Oh. Where. Hi everybody. This is Lisa again, and this is another English class here on Verbling dot com. Um, my name is Lisa, and I'm in Washington State in the United States. Of America and it is Saturday evening at 8 p.m. my time so I know there are people um, all around the world that are checking on um, verbling.com to see what is going on and so this hour we are going to have a speaking class so if you are interested in coming to practice speaking in English then you can click on the join class button and come in to this Google Hangouts here with me and we can have a conversation. Um, I was going to have a conversation about traveling so I we were going to look at some different websites and talk about what it means to book a flight and how do we search on the internet for hotels or other types of accommodations where would you like to stay where would you like to go so if you want to come and join the class that is what we're going to be doing so it should be pretty fun it's always fun to talk about traveling and see where people like to go where they have been maybe you are planning a trip or you would like to go on a trip someday um, so we can talk about that um, if you are not yet a Verbling member you can do a special trial membership so that the link for that is right in the top up there um, above the video and it's a free seven day trial um, otherwise if you have been checking out Verbling and you know that you want to join Verbling then you can pay the forty five dollars and that is per month and that allows you to come to all the classes you want and you can also make reservations in the class um, sometimes in some hours during the day the classes can fill up we can have nine people in the Google Hangout here with me so sometimes they fill up and so it's a nice idea to try to get a reservation for the class some other parts of the day can be um, less crowded so like right now it's 8 o'clock my time but it's um, you know it's 6 a.m. in Turkey and it's I don't know what time it is in China Chow's gonna tell me here in a minute <laughs> in China it's, uh, 12 p.m. oh 12 p.m. okay what are you in the middle of classes or what uh, I didn't get you said are you in the middle of classes? Do you have? Oh wait, never mind. It's Saturday. It's Sunday for you. No. Yeah, it is Sunday. So no, no, class no classes today. today. Okay, I forgot what day we were. <laughs> <laughs> and you took your jacket off. So did you get warm? Well, because uh, it is 12 p.m., so it should be warmer than yes. what was that in the morning. Yes. Right. So, um. Is it going to snow where you live? I guess so. Maybe in this week. Oh, really? Snow. Is yeah. that normal? Is that does yeah, it, it usually snow? Yeah. Uh huh. Usually snow. It will be snow every year. Okay. 
How much snow? How much? That's a tough question. <laughs> How to measure the snow? Uh, well, you can. Uh, well, I don't know. You can see the snow can like this. Okay. The ground and. Uh, uh huh. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Is there any um, skiing in China? Do people go uh, skiing? Yeah, there, there, there is some place in the north of China, and oh, really? I'm planning to go there maybe next year. To ski cool. There. Yeah. Wow, I never, I didn't know. That's cool. I like to ski, so. <laughs> Are you good at it? 